Here I'll show you how to install uh, Molebox, uh, the virtual box, uh, molecular toolbox. So I have to uh, download these three files uh, from these different three different websites. I'll go to the first one, and here you have to pick uh, what machine you want to install it on. So for example, Windows, uh, Mac, or uh, the Linux. Okay, and then after that you have to ins uh, download these other two files. Be aware that this last file is two gigabytes to download, which is quite a bit. And when you unpack it and install it, uh, then it's almost seven gigabytes. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Okay, now I've already downloaded those files and put them here on my desktop. Okay, so I'm installing this on a Mac, and so I'm using the DMG file. Double-click on that. So this is the first step, is to installing the virtual box. And I double-click here. Continue. And then I have to wait a little while here for the option to pop up. There it is. Click on that. Install. Now it needs my password. And here we go. Okay, that's the virtual box itself. Now, if that worked, you should see the icons have changed now to uh, color cubes here. And the next thing is then to install the extension. Hit install here. Scroll down. Hit agree. Now it needs the password again. Great. Okay, now the final thing is the uh, molebox.ova file. Down there. Double click on that. And hit import. Now that's going to take a while. That's going to take about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. So I'm going to speed that up here a little bit. Okay, I'm done here. And if everything goes correctly, it should look like this. To start up Mobox, you click over here. And the startup will be a little slow in the beginning. That's mainly the first time that you, you click on this. Okay, eventually get to here. The password will be science, all small letters, no caps. And the first time you see your desktop like this, you'll notice there's some icons that are on top of each other down here. But if you right click anywhere on the, on the screen or on the desktop, I should say, you can organize desktop by name and it looks a lot better. Okay, let me just uh, show you three programs really quick, uh, quick intro. First one is JCAM Paint, uh, which is a bit like ChemDraw. It's a 2D 
uh, sketcher of chemical structures, which actually I find pretty easy and intuitive to use. So you have lots and lots of menus here that you can use to draw molecules. So for example, we have benzene here, we can put a substituent on, let's make that chlorine. Really easy uh, to use. No, I don't want to save that. Uh, the next thing will be molecular calculator or mole calc. That is a, a 3D uh, molecule drawing program that also can calculate some basic molecular properties for you. So uh, having double clicked on that, I get this page here. And I can now start building. So for example, I can put an, an OH group on here. Um, also a pretty intuitive builder. But now I can go in and calculate uh, some interesting properties. Okay, here I am. The first one is polarity and solvation, uh, where I can get an idea of how polar the molecule is. Uh, so for example, here I have a molecular surface where, that I've colored blue, where it's positive, and red where it's negative. If I mouse over the atoms, I get the partial charges. And if I click here, I get the dipole moment of the molecule displayed. I can also show molecular orbitals. So here's my molecule. I click on one of the orbitals, and I get it in three dimensions, which, and I can rotate and interact with it. Uh, that's not the one I wanted to click. I wanted to click this one here, uh, which are vibrational frequencies. So same bit like the orbitals. Uh, I click on something, one of the frequencies, it animates it. I can rotate it in three dimensions. OK, the final one is Avogadro. And that is a little more, it's a more powerful builder than mole calc. On the other hand, you don't have access to nearly as many properties. So this is a, a good if you want to build relatively large uh, three-dimensional molecules very quickly. So you can see here, you just click around to get your molecule. Okay, last thing is how do you shut this thing down again? Uh, the mole box. So you go up here. Select Quit, then it'll ask you if you want to save the machine state. What that means is if you click this, which is the default, this is the one I would recommend, uh, then all the windows you have currently open will be open again when you start Moldbox up. And I find that the, the most handiest uh, thing. Alternatively, you can select some of the other ones. Uh, and then whatever windows you have open uh, will, be, will be lost for the next time. Okay, so that was a quick introduction uh, to Mobox, the installation and use of some of the programs. I hope you enjoy it.